Allegation alternate. In pharmacy, we may need to dispense a desired concentration of the drug from two different concentrations. And one of the concentrations should come from a higher concentration of what we desire, and the other should come from lower concentration. An allegation is the method which tells us we should take this much from the higher concentration and this much from the lower concentration. Say, in a pharmacy, we want to make 10% of a drug, but unfortunately, we do not have 10%, exact 10% concentration, but we have a higher concentration, which is 20, and we have a lower concentration of 5. And I know that there's, there's a way Somehow I can mix these two together to get my desired 10% concentration. So allegation is the method that tells us you should take these many parts from higher concentration and these many parts from the lower concentration. So it's all about drawing a picture on your scratch paper. And first of all, you need to draw uh, an allegation chart or allegation um, box like this. And then start putting numbers like we know the low concentration of the stock that we have in the top left corner then the high concentration in the top right corner and the center write the desired concentration that you want to make and then draw a line and write the difference between the low and the desired concentrations in this box that actually tells you that take this many parts from the high concentration because the, the the high is straight above the this one and the same way we draw another line that actually tells us a difference between high and desired and that number is placed in the bottom left box so it tells that take this many parts from the low concentration of your stock so here's an example let's say um, we have a stock of 50 percent and five percent and we need to make 30 percent this 30 is just between these two it is lower than 50 higher than 5 and let's draw the allegation chart or allegation box and we put the low concentration 5 in the top left corner the high concentration 50 in the top right corner and at the center the desired concentration 30 which we want and then draw a line that actually tells us the difference between these two the 30 minus 5 is 25 and you always want to put the pt which represents parts with this number in order to avoid confusion this tells you that take 25 parts from the high concentration of 50. similarly draw another line and put the difference between these two numbers 50 and 30 in this small box which tells that take 20 parts from the low concentration so this top two rows are concentration they can actually actually be concentration density specific gravity anything but the the lower row the lowest row does not represent concentration instead it tells you that take these many parts from what you see above like take 25% from the 50 concentration one and 20 parts from the 5 concentration. So it's very important not to get confused. The 20 and 25 are the parts. That is why I always advise the students to write the PT or full parts with the numbers that you write on the bottom row. So let's solve um, a problem in which we actually move from parts to the actual quantity like we have we know from this example that we need 25 parts from the 50 concentration and 20 parts from the 5 concentration but what is the exact weight say we need to make 90 ml of this 30 percent solution so the 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 amount we should take from 5 percent stock should be 20 parts in the numerator and total parts in the denominator and that this tells us that take 40 ml from the 5 percent stock and in a similar way take 50 ml from the higher concentration stock well 
if you do the first part, you do not need to do the second part because you know that you need 90 ml and you are somehow taking 40 ml from 5% stock. So subtract 40 from 90 and this tells you that you, that you need 50 more ml. So let's solve this practice problem. How, many, how will you prepare 60 grams of 3% ointment from a 15% stock and inert ointment base? So inert ointment base means it does not have any drug. It's, it, it's, it's, it doesn't have any concentration of any drug. So we, we draw the chart and in the top left corner, we put the concentration of the first source, which, which is base. It doesn't have any drug. In the top right, I put the higher concentration of 15. In the middle concentra middle box, I write the desired concentration of uh, 3% and draw the lines and put the, the difference 3 parts, which should be taken from 15 concentration and the difference again 12 parts, which should be taken from the inner base. Now, the question says make 60 grams. So 12 parts should be from the inner base and 3 parts should be from the 15% stock. And similarly, we can do the determination of exact weight of each of these parts. So weight of the inner base should be 60 grams times the parts of the that should come from inner divided by total parts, which is 48 grams. And the weight of 15% stock should be 12 grams. So this is the answer.